I think that's the point of it. To look into like how things are made, I think the craft sort of aspect of it really amuses me. Everything is very handmade. Like if you pick out one of the jackets, you can see all the stitching inside. The buttons are like buffalo horn or like cowboy. There's nothing plastic or there's no polyester on it. It's just all natural. Malaysian culture is having, you know, that, that few hours of just hanging out with your friends, being able to run out after a long day, or maybe you have a good day, you, know, you finally meet up with your friends, you just want to share things with people that you're so comfortable with. You know, maybe this place could be conversation as a reason and coffee as an excuse, you know? I do mural, I do painting, I do sculpture, I do installation, a lot. This box, it's a recycle bin actually. You can play with throwing stuff and then I'm gonna install a motion detection. So if you put and then the sound like terima kasih. <laughs> I like to paint and then all of a sudden I want to scared. and yeah, all of a sudden I want to play music. If you do something that you like, then you just consistent on it. Everything come like what you want. My initial thought is never write a love song, but then you can get away with it, can you? I've been writing songs ever since, like six or seven years ago, but then I got a new job here, and then I started thinking, what's the point of writing all these songs, if not get at least one properly recorded? There are more musicians here, you can see more variety here. 
I really like playing live, but the problem is I really got nervous, like really easily. But then after I've played the first song, it would just be easy. <laughs> With my music, I mean, it's ever-changing, ever-evolving. Uh, whatever looks fresh and exciting to me, I try to challenge. I try to make my set as uh, open as possible. I play party tunes, mumbatone, dubstep, just pushing boundaries. A couple of years ago, you wouldn't think of a dubstep act coming down and filling up a club, you know? Now, we have guys wanting to come to Malaysia to play in Malaysia, you know, asking for it. There was always a saying that uh, whatever you play has to be three or four years behind. But in the past couple of years, it's just been booming. 